All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So in this week's video, I wanna talk about two things. One, Amazon FBA becoming pay to play, and what I mean by that. And two, has Amazon now gone so far that it throws into question the whole Amazon FBA business model? So let's talk about those two things. So firstly, Amazon being pay to play. What do I mean by that? Well, there are two sides to this. You have the actual fees you pay to Amazon, and then the marketing that you pay to Amazon as well. So the fees for the fulfillment and stuff like that, and then the, the fees, the PPC fees you pay to appear in the search results. So in terms of the actual fees you pay to Amazon, there are quite a few of them. You've got your monthly account fee, which is £25 plus VAT, so basically £30. Um, you've then got your referral fee, which is how much you pay to Amazon for the privilege of being able to use the Amazon platform and access their customers. That is generally around about 15% of your sale price, but it varies because some categories have different levels of fees. And then you have the fulfillment fee, which is how much you pay Amazon for packaging up your product, for holding it at the fulfillment center, for sending it to the customer, for managing any returns and customer service and all of that. And plus you've got other fees like storage fees for keeping inventory at the Amazon fulfillment centers, fees that you pay on returns um, and various other fees Amazon have come up with over the past few years. So you certainly pay a lot for this. However, at the same time, you're also getting access to the biggest customer base in the world and Amazon are doing the fulfillment for you so you don't have to employ people and it gives you the chance to build a relatively passive income. So this is why Amazon FBA appeals. And personally, I don't mind losing about 30% of my overall sale price to Amazon in exchange for that. So I see that as kind of a fair trade-off. Yes, I do think Amazon do take the mick from time to time with continuously increasing fees and finding inventive new ways of charging us extra. But I'm actually okay with that element of kind of pay to play to use Amazon. The element that I'm not so okay with, and let me take you over to Amazon front end from what customers see. This is where I'm starting to question whether Amazon are going too far and then how much more difficult it then makes it for us Amazon sellers. So if you take almost any niche on Amazon now, especially one that's gonna have a bit of competition, whether you're looking on your desktop or laptop or on your mobile phone, when the search results are returned, you're gonna see an awful lot of paid advertising. So in this example here, I'm gonna show you it on the screen and then I'm gonna use X-Ray to show you a summary view. And it's quite shocking as to how much PPC or pay-per-click advertising, how many people are paying to be in these position is actually within these search results. So up first, we have these sponsored videos at the top. So you've got two sponsored products and a video. This is all a seller paying to appear in the search results. Then we scroll down. You can see that it says they're sponsored. So Amazon make it very, very subtle. It is sponsored, but hopefully by now, people are so used to seeing this type of thing, they are fully aware which ones are sponsored and which ones aren't. We then have four more results here, all of which are sponsored. So the first thing any customer sees on a desktop or laptop view is six sponsored search results, or they can potentially have more there as well. So they're seeing the sponsored videos at the top plus the first four sponsored products. You then get the first organic results, which is what we're aiming for as Amazon sellers. We use the paid adverts to prove to Amazon that our product sells and we've got a con good conversion rate. So a customer will see our paid advert, they'll pay for our product, they'll buy our product. Amazon tracks that metric, compares it against the competition and goes, right, we think this product actually converts better. Let's bring it up the search results. And the long-term goal is to get to these organic positions here. So this is the first organic position, which is technically about position seven in the search results. And then you've got this next row of search results as well. So this is where you wanna aim for because you will make good sales if you do hit these positions. However, if you scroll down a bit further, after those, what was it, six results, one, two, three, four, five, six, you've then got this section, four stars and above which to the customer makes it look like Amazon is trying to be helpful by saying, look, look at these well-reviewed products. But actually, look, it's a still a sponsored area. So all of these, one, two, three, four, five products, these are all sponsored listings. We then come back down further, we've got more results. And guess what? One, two, three, four sponsored listings. And then you get on to the organic results and most of the rest of the page is organic results. But you've still got another sponsored video slot here, some sponsored ads there. But generally, the further you go down the page, the less sponsored adverts you'll find as Amazon don't really make much money from people clicking that far down the page. So if you run X-Ray on this, or I'm using X-Ray from Helium 10, usual discount codes in the pinned top comment. 
this is what it looks like. Now, X-Ray have recently added an update to make this a bit clearer for us to understand. So anything with SP is a sponsored advert. And then they've also got some helpful additional information here. So we can see SBV is a sponsored brand video. And these ones here are the sponsored four star or highly rated section. So we can see this is what the average customer is seeing. Now, this isn't quite in the right order as these free products here should be above this. I think it's because I've got the mobile view activated, which I'll show you in a moment. But really, the, the customers see, are seeing sponsored ads until they get to position seven. Then they get five or six organic results. Then they get another one, two, three, four, five sponsored. And then another one, two, three, four sponsored results. So has Amazon gone a bit too far with this? We've given so much space to sponsored ads. Now, thankfully, you can still get good results or you can still make money paying for PPC and make an organic sale. So back in the old days when I first started Amazon FBA back in 2018, the goal would be you'd use PPC to launch your product and then usually it'd be possible to turn off the ads and you just make sales from your organic positions. Nowadays, I would expect to have to run PPC full time for all of your products. Hopefully it'll be in a much more cost effective way than you use it during the launch period. During the launch period, it won't be as effective and you'll be bidding higher. But as you prove to Amazon you have a good product, you'll be able to bid less and you'll be able to optimize your campaigns and you can streamline things. So it is still possible to make good money on Amazon if you can get ranked well organically because those organic sales will still help to offset the PPC sales that you're spending money on. But as to whether you think Amazon's gone too far, what do you think? I mean, if we go to the mobile view, let's take a look at the mobile view. This is what a customer sees. I've got a mobile emulator here. So I've put in shopping board here. First thing they're seeing is the videos, just like we saw on the desktop and laptop results. Scroll down a bit further. First product sponsored, sponsored. There we go. So the customer has to actually physically scroll for them to have an even a chance of seeing an organic listing. So there's the first organic one. There's the second organic one. And then on mobile, you get two organic results, sponsored, sponsored, four stars and above, sponsored video, then another organic. So you can really see I think Amazon has gone a bit too far with this, to be honest, because this is ridiculous on mobile view. You're seeing maybe free organic results in the top 10. You know, that, that's a bit, they're taking the mick a bit with that, I think. I'm sure you guys would agree. So with that all in mind, does this throw into question the whole FBA model? Well, if I was just looking at this as an outsider, I would certainly be concerned. But I've been selling in this environment for the past couple of years because Amazon have been doing this for a while now. And it is still very, very possible to get results. And I mentor people all the time who get results in this environment. So I know it is still possible to make money on Amazon. But there are two big things that you need to be aware of, two things you need to pay a lot of attention to and spend time on as you're developing your business and your product. Number one, you really need to pay attention to the profit margins on the product that you are looking at because you're gonna have to spend a lot on PPC. If you've only got a product that's got maybe a two or three pound profit margin, you're never really gonna make any money on Amazon because even if you can get it ranked, you're gonna to need to run PPC to maintain and defend your positions. Two to three pound of profit just is not enough. You're gonna need products that are making six to seven pound plus profit per unit or per sale so that if you do end up spending maybe you know three to five pound per sale on those PPC sales, when you average those out across that with your organic sales as well, you're still making maybe three to four pound on average. So that's what you need to really pay attention to in the early days when you're picking your product, make sure there is a healthy margin. So I aim for a minimum of a 30% margin. So if you're selling at 30 pound, you wanna be making 10 pound profit. I know that's 33% technically, but 30% or above as a minimum starting point. This is excluding PPC. After PPC, you're gonna end up somewhere maybe around 15 to 20%. And then your return on investment, I say 80% as a minimum, but for round number purposes, aim for 100%. So if you're investing £10 on stock, so you're spending £10 on ordering inventory and getting it to the UK, that is your landed cost. You want to try to aim to make about £10 profit on that. So that would be your return on investment. And remember, this is pre-PPC. So after PPC, your return on investment won't be that high. But if you've got that buffer to work with, it's still very much possible to make money on Amazon. And I'm doing it myself. I'm just actually yesterday, I've just created a brand new brand. I've ordered some more samples and I've commissioned some packaging design. So I'm still very confident in this business model, despite its imperfections as the benefits for me of that passive income 
and being able to make life-changing money, <coughs> it still adds up for me. That that still adds up for me, so I'm still happy to do it, despite the fact I spend a lot of money on Amazon fees and despite the fact I spend a lot of money on PPC. The second thing you have to pay attention to is PPC itself. Not only do you have to develop a great product, you have to become a great marketer and you have to understand and learn Amazon PPC inside out. And also, you're gonna to wanna to do your own sponsored video as well, just like this, as I'm finding I get better results from sponsored videos than I do from just standard paid adverts. So these ones here, these are fine and you can get results from them. But personally, I find I get better results from having a good sponsored video. But again, your results will vary depending on your product and how good your video is. So keep those two things in mind. Now, if you're struggling with PPC, I'm gonna pop up a video now which talks you through the exact PPC strategy that I use to launch my products on Amazon. And I'll see you guys over there. Thank mm -hmm. you.